this is a grade 12 med sleep lesson is on box and whisker you are not um, most of the time asked to plot the box and whisker diagram you, you normally in your question paper it will be there then you'll be asked questions but I'm gonna draw it for you so that I can explain then you can understand the concept then we'll do a question where we answer okay let's see our data here these are the marks for the grade 11 class this is a COVID class because they are so little uh, the total number of them there are 14 so it means you'll have seven on one side and seven on the other side so your median will be between the seven and the seven let's see one two three four five six seven so it means your median your middle will be a number between 69 and 73 your median will be a number between 69 and 73 so you're gonna add 69 and 73 and divide it by 2 something very important when you are using especially a scientific calculator you have to say 69 plus 73 and then equals to then you divide it by 2 and then you answer is 71 if you don't do that it will divide the 73 only then add it to the 69 according to both mass okay after finding the median then we're gonna find the quartiles okay now in this half of the median is half in this half of the data we're gonna find another half and then now it means we'll be divided into quarter that's why it's called quartiles so you have seven um data so you'll have one two three then this is will be your quartile then one two three you have first quarter second quarter then one two three that's your third quarter and then one two three no one two three that's your third quarter and one two three so you have three 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 this will be your q1 or your lower quartile this will be your q3 or your upper quartile so you can see that your your median is also your q2 your middle quartile so you have one two three then this is where 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 your quarter is so three then that one one two three then this one one two three so your data each quarter has three um data has three values okay let's see how we draw a box and whisker using this okay when we draw a box and whisker plot we are using five values we are using the lowest value q1 the median q3 and the highest value so our lowest value is 14 this is our 10 this is our 15 14 will be around there this is our lowest value our q1 is 54 this is our 50 54 will be around there and then our q2 you remember you calculated it is 71 so it's closer to 70 71 and then our q3 83 83 around there and our highest value is 98 close to 198 right so we're going to use these values now with here we're going to draw a line that makes a box a line there and a line there and then we make a box that's where the box and whisker comes from then you make your box here And then your whisker from Q3 to the highest value, you draw a line from Q1 to the lowest value, you draw a line. I'm smudging my blossom and whisker. This is how you draw your boss and whisker. Now, let's see how we apply it. Normally, in your exam, you'll get this not the data and everything, you just get the box and whisker. What does it mean? The data was divided into quarter, quarters. So this is the first quarter of the data. Do you remember how many there were? There were three. This is the second quarter. There were three. That was the third quarter. There were three. That's the last quarter. There were three. 
even though the lines are not equal that doesn't mean this quarter has more data than compared to that one no it means this quarter the data in this quarter is spread far more spread compared to that one but it's 25 percent a quarter is 25 percent it's 25 percent 25 percent 25 percent and 25 percent that's very important to remember when you're dealing with box and whisker normally you'll get questions where they ask you what's the lowest value what's the highest value and another question that they like to ask is the inter quartile range you remember in lower grades you did the range the range was the highest value minus the lowest value the inter quartile range you you are talking about the quartiles now the quartal so the highest quartal is q3 which is 83 minus the lowest quarter which is q1 minus 51 then you punch that in your calculator and then you, you get you get your answer so you'll get these values from the box and whisker that's your q3 and that's your q1 so you get that it's 83 minus 54 which is 29 okay okay let's say they ask you the range they ask you the range and all of that is not there you are only given the box and remiska so your range the range is the highest value so your highest value is 98 minus your lowest value which is 14 then you punch it in your calculator always use your calculator 98 minus 14 and then you find that it's 84 okay that's your range you see your range is different from your interquartal range and the, the interpretation of the two values also is also different okay this is the end of our lesson in our next video we're going to do a lesson when we when we look at the previous papers and interpret the box and whisker thank you for watching if you have not yet subscribed please do <music>